Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Boomer runs away. Let him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Get him! Get him, get him! <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on video. <laughs> you suck, Boomer. Welcome back to another exciting mail call Monday. <laughs> but it's uh, another Monday where there's no mail. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a new arrival. Something happened this past week. Today is actually exactly one week. And uh, look who came into my life. This incredible little animal popped up and I don't know I almost come to tears and I'm so happy for this little guy to be here but before we get into what's going on here with this please licky likey comment and subscribe pluck that dingle belly so you get updates every time I upload a video and don't forget to check out duckshit.net for all of my different social media links and that includes those of B as well as Ashlyn everything you'll find up there just the same and as well as this little guy when this little guy gets some new links yeah anyways we'll be back right after the intro All right, well, we're back. This little guy popped up in my life uh, last Sunday night. Today is Sunday. By the time you guys are watching this, it's Monday. But last Sunday, about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, a friend of mine, John, who's also a Volkswagen guy, um, sent me a text message and said, listen, we've got a duckling uh, we found in the street. He said it was about to get flattened by a bunch of cars, and there were cats waiting on the curb to get him. And um, he was in a bad situation, so John, being the animal lover that he is, quick snap the thing up. And he says, uh, you know, Duckman, you think you could help me out? He says, uh, I need a little food, no place is open until Monday, what should I feed him? You know, can you help me out? So I immediately gathered up a whole bunch of stuff for taking care of ducks and ducklings, and uh, headed over to his place shortly after that. What I didn't expect is to bring home another mooching freeloading roommate. <laughs> But John said he had no interest in taking care of this little guy. He, uh, he didn't have the time. He's got too many other projects. He's a Volkswagen guy. He's also a Corvette guy. He's a motorcycle guy. He also does all the horror cons and comic cons and kind of stuff too. So I run into him everywhere. It's just really, that's our background. But he wasn't ready to take this little guy on and uh, he didn't know what he was gonna do. Uh, I'm afraid to contact some of the um, the, the wildlife sanctuary people because um, this might be and probably is a Muscovy duck and Muscovy ducks are considered an invasive species here in Florida so they might you know cast it out euthanize I mean I don't know what they're going to do and somebody's probably gonna tell me otherwise if you know otherwise put it down below in the comments but I was trying to figure out what to do with this little guy because I was just not ready to bring on another one I was just not ready for it. Um, I'm sorry, you're cold. I know, the temperature's starting to drop out here. It's been warm all day. And then a cold front came through. But yeah, I just, I wasn't ready to take another one on, but this little guy didn't have much of a choice. And uh, I felt it was the best thing to do was to bring him home. And when I got him, he was, he was half the size. He was about that tall. Just a little poof ball. And he had no neck because his neck was so short you couldn't see it. It was just his head was screwed onto his body. He's got a tail now didn't have any tail before it was just a little round body hardly had any wings it was just these little stubs and they're still kind of stubby but there's not much there totally different personality than boomer you notice the duckling just sits here in my hand just sits it don't matter if it's hot it don't matter if it's cold it's not that the duckling is just seeking comfort this one actually likes people and before I even came into the picture when they were holding the duckling I couldn't believe it they're holding it and it's not squirming the thing just wanted to be with people. And that might remind you of somebody. Um, none other than my Skeeter the Duck. And she just had a birthday back on the 17th, and it's really hard for me to talk about. It really is. But this little guy's birthday just might be on the same day. This critter right now is probably no more than about 10, 11, 12 days old. And it's just really special to me that at the time of celebrating Skeeter's birthday, this little critter came into my life. And, uh... I, I really didn't want you, I really didn't, but after getting to know you and seeing just how sweet of a personality you are, you remind me of somebody so much. <laughs> You're going to stay. If you are a Muscovy duck, though, when you grow up, you're probably going to leave me. Yeah, you're going to fly away, I'm sure you will. <laughs> but Daddy will still love you, and I hope you come home once in a while. <laughs> a 
friend of mine who also has Muscovy ducks said the same thing. He said uh, some of his left and some of his uh, come back every night. They leave in the morning and they come back every night. And they live in the old chicken coop that he used to have chickens in. Uh, <laughs> that's where they spend the night. So I thought it was pretty cool. Now I'm not sure if it's a Muscovy or a Mallard. This little red tip on the beak is something that a Mallard would not have. So I, I don't know what, what this little... I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not know what this little critter is. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. I can't tell. I really can't tell. Kind of a rusty red head. This is not something, again, that you would find on a mallard. Um, Boomer was these colors when he was a duckling, if you remember. He was kind of a blackish brown, and he had a canary yellow bib on the front of him. He also had little, little canary uh, yellow tips on his wings, but he didn't have a yellow tip on his tail. He just had a black tail. So... This one has got a, a, a super special personality. This one, I, I can't tell you just how happy and how important this little guy is to me. And you've only been with me for a week. Now, I haven't named this one yet again. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I don't know what would be fitting. I'm trying to come up with some kind of a unisex name, and I have an idea. And I just don't want to announce it yet. I don't feel comfortable announcing names for things on my YouTube channel prior to an official press release, I suppose is the best way to put it. Because if I say the wrong thing, for years people will tell me the wrong thing, and I can't go back and correct one of my older videos. I can delete it, I guess, but I don't like leaving a hole in my history. So this one here has a name, and just uh, I have not officially announced it yet. In fact, I haven't even officially called you it yet. I just know that that's what I want to call you. <laughs> You're looking at me. This one uh, sleeps next to me on bed. Um, I put a little plastic basket over to just to make sure that um, I don't roll over on the poor critter and I have a little heating pad under under him that's underneath half of the uh, the bin so if he gets hot he can go to the other side where there's no heating pad and um, I mean just the personality of this thing is absolutely incredible just wants to be included just wants to be loved the first night we brought him home it was um, mealworms that were ground up because the little beak was too small to eat mealworms and here we are a week later and now he's eating whole mealworms. The second day I took her out or him, uh, I may say him or he or she confusingly because I just I need to identify something and I always just I put a label so sorry if it offends somebody I mean it is 2021 and that's not the reason why I do it it's just I just I need to put a label on this little one I just do. Um, the second night, Wild Bill and I went out for Taco Tuesday, and we were inseparable. This little guy was screaming his head off all day long until that evening, when all of a sudden, um, I got warmed up to. Suddenly, the duckling would come to me, snuggle me, want to be with me instead of being alone, which was kind of weird, because the first day, the duckling would just kind of wander around aimlessly, screaming, just screaming, trying to find the mommy that you'll probably never find again. Well, we went out for Taco Tuesday. Absolutely loves tortilla chips. Kind of like taco beef. Ate a little bit of it. Took a little swig of my IPA beer. Yes, I give my ducks beer. At uh, almost 18 years old that Skeeter lived, um, she had beer and she ate all kinds of things. So the third night we went out, we went down to McGuire's, which is where you get the best steaks here in Pensacola. Hands down. There's a little plug for you guys at McGuire's. Um, went down and we had a um, prime rib. Nice medium rare prime rib, a giant baked potato, and a huge Caesar salad. And uh, this little guy got some of each and obliterated it. Absolutely loved it and was so happy to have that. Then that night we went home, more mealworms, more duck food, because you eat so damn much. And you also poop incredibly much. You poop so much more than any other duckling that I've ever experienced. Any other duckling. I can't believe you're not pooped on me yet, although you pooped here on the table here in front of me. <laughs> the third night... We went out for Cubs Crawfish. Now, if you've watched me on Instagram, I've mentioned them before. In fact, I think I've also made a post on my um, Facebook community tab where I uh, showed some pictures of shrimp. Well, this little guy was eating shrimp and crawfish, potatoes, um, sausage, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> this one loved it. And I, I think the, um, the crawfish might have been your favorite. And maybe the shrimp was a very, very close second. And then you picked the potato just a little bit, and the sausage, I don't think you ate it at all. Kind of pushed it aside. People are probably going to ask, you know, what is Boomer's reaction of this little creature here? Um, 
Boomer is terrified, and I find that to be one of the silliest things ever, that Boomer sees the duckling and runs the opposite direction. Boomer has a playpen in the living room, and he'll smash himself up to the far end of the cage, trying to get away, pressed to the side of it, just leaning as far away as he can from the duckling that's outside the cage on the opposite side. He does not like the duckling at all, and I find that incredibly silly. But I really haven't given them a proper introduction yet. The only once in a while that the duckling does see Boomer is when um, he jumps down off the sofa and I'm, let's say, in the bathroom or something, and he stops at something that he sees is in motion. This one is not afraid of anything, nothing at all. And again, that's a personality thing, because that's the way Skeeter was. Um, just not afraid of anything. And had this one have not been picked up by John, um, it probably would have been killed just on, on the fact that it doesn't run away. Some folks have told me this little guy won't imprint on me. <laughs> Don't tell me no. On the second day, this guy was following me around. I put this little guy on the ground, walk away, Screaming begins, and then the running starts, and this thing will be right on my heels as long as I keep running. As long as I keep going, this thing will be following me the whole way. Um, I, I gotta say, I love this little creature. I love this little creature so much. I sure hope that uh, when you grow up, you stay. You'll be an inside duck for as long as you need to be. I probably won't let you go outside too much while we live here, but when we move to the new location, I will let you out often. So if you choose to leave, you'll come back to the new place, because that will be our home. And I love you, little critter. You're something special. You really are. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Wait for next Monday. We'll be announcing a name for this little guy. We'll be letting you know as soon as we're ready to tell you. At this point, like I said, we're just not ready yet. But total different in personality. I mean, look, just sitting in my hand and has been resting in my hand the whole while, just like Skeeter and if I'm lucky and I'm already lucky I'm already so lucky but if I get even luckier this one might have half the personality that Skeeter had and um, well we're gonna bond and yeah and you'll be with me for a very 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 long time I just can't believe this one just sits in my hand just like this I'm not holding not holding just just stays just chills Boomer didn't do this. Not at all. Boomer was a constant squirm. He was like holding a fistful of, of, of worms. He was just constantly trying to get out of my hand. He was impossible to hold. Yeah, he liked to snuggle up to me, but uh, beyond that, nowadays, all he does is bite and hump. This one, I hope, I sure hope that you retain this personality and you just stay just every bit, yeah, cheap, cheap, every bit as sweet as you are and shitty. There it goes. A big old nasty poop all over me <laughs> well on that note we're gonna end this video thanks everybody for watching licky likey comment and subscribe don't forget to check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links poops out see you next time come on come on come on come on let me see you <laughs> ready at daddy's feet. You ready? We're gonna go back. Come on. Oh, jeez, you're going faster than I am. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. Not going to imprint on me, huh? <laughs> You're a good baby. Yes, you are. Your daddy's bestest little baby birdie.